the final game this Saturday is uh, Japan hosting Samoa. Japan high flying, two wins from two, top of the pool in the driver's seat. Uh, Samoa a win and a loss. Kind of disappointing result against Scotland in what was a pretty ugly game. Uh, they'll be looking to bounce back, and uh, Japan will be looking to keep the pressure on to to just uh, dominate as much of the pool as they can with one eye on that final game against Scotland. I'll put the teams in the description so you guys can check out the lineups, but uh, the rugby history is, is decent between these two teams. There's been a fair few games. None of them all all that recent. Like If you look at the last five, Samoa have won uh, three, Japan have won two. However, the, the most recent ones are 2015 and 2014 because they didn't play each other this year in the Pacific Nations Cup and in the preceding years, Japan wasn't in the Pacific Nations Cup. So, yeah, they haven't played for quite some time. And the two most recent results, which are 2015 and 2014, they are both Japan's wins. So, the, the last five kind of go back quite a way in history and it seems like... The further back you go, the better Samoa was, and maybe the worse Japan was. So in, in recent times, Japan's been getting better. Samoa has kind of been on a downward slide, which is unfortunate. But the average over the last five, because of the close nature of some of the games, Japan actually has the better, a better average of points, 22-19, uh, despite the fact that they lost more games than they won over the last five. But uh, if you look at those last two, the average score is Japan 30, Samoa 10. So that's kind of where that point disparity uh, comes from so yeah like I said in recent times it has been Japan pretty comfortably over Samoa Japan are at home so again that's another thing in their favor uh, the squads themselves Japan's squad is relatively settled with a few changes uh, so Yamanaka uh, Lemeki and Matsushima are still there in the back three no changes there Nakamura and Lafaele still in the midfield so again no changes there Nagare and Tamura 9 and 10 no changes there so the back line uh, is settled for Jamie Joseph's guys. Uh, the front row, Inagaki and Ku continue on in the props, but Sakate gets a start at hooker, so Horie is down to the bench. Uh, Van der Volt is up into the squad from the bench in the second row. James Moore continues on. Luke Thompson's getting a break for this one, so Uwe Hilu uh, is in the squad. I don't think we've seen him at all this World Cup yet. Uh, back row, Michael Leach, Lapis Lovers Kakni, and Kazuki Himeno. So... Michael Leach is up from the bench, uh, Lovers Hackney continues on, and uh, Humanol moves from 6 to 8, which is uh, not a big deal for him. Reserves, like I said, Hori is there on the bench, Nakajima, uh, Aivalu, so that's the same as the last game. Uh, Hilu, like I said, comes into the squad, Hendrik Tui uh, comes into the squad. Uh, I guess because Mafi is out, they needed to, to shift things up. Uh, Tanaka, Matsuda, and Fukuoka continue on as the three back reserves, which is the same as that last game against Ireland. Um, Samoa, again, a few changes. Uh, they've made two changes to the front row. So Jordan Lay starts from the bench and, um, say Lala Lam, uh, starts at hooker. Michael Alalatoa continues on at tight head. So the, the front row reserves is, uh, Nuya, who was the starter last time. So he's down to the bench. Alo Amelie and James Lay are the other guys covering the props. Um, blocks for Asaele. And Lao Pepe, so that's Lao Pepe started last time. Uh, the other guy was on the bench. Vui, Ioane, and Lam are the back three. No changes there. Ioane has been massive. I mean, he's one of my favorite players. Uh, I haven't seen him, to be fair, much in recent years, but I know in Super Rugby he used to be the man. Um, and his stats this Rugby World Cup for a team which is only at a 50% record so far have been pretty impressive. So. Hopefully he continues on in this game. Uh, for the backs, Paula Taival starts at number nine. He didn't play last time. Um, Siutini uh, starts at number 10. So that means uh, Tusi PC is down to the bench. And a fair few fans will be happy with that because it's been a bit of criticism of his performances. Uh, Taifu and uh, Leua continue on in the midfield. Fidel, who got two yellow cards and a red card. So second yellow meaning red. Uh, he's still in the squad on the left wing. They deemed that the, the red card punishment was enough uh, for him, so he's he's not getting any further punishment. Uh, Tuala is on the right wing. He comes into the squad, and Tim Nana williams keeps his spot at fullback. Uh, the other reserves, um, Fonatia is still there at the bench, like I mentioned, PC, uh, Kauli. So kind of medium amount of changes, not, not really um, a huge amount, but still changes nonetheless. 
Uh, if you look at the recent games, uh, Japan played on Saturday. So still a decent rest for them between these two games. And uh, Samoa played on Monday. So a slightly shorter turnaround for them. We'll see if that's kind of a factor in this game as well. Um, I mean, if you look at the predictions, Japan's pretty comfortable favorites. Rugby forecast, the algorithm's got Japan by eight points. So more than a converted try. So relatively comfortable. The bookies have got Japan by 18, which is even that step further. You feel like... I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like this game's a foregone conclusion. Uh, maybe that's me being still a little bit doubtful of Japan. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's because I haven't quite bought into the idea that they're at the team at that level they are. I know on their day they can beat pretty much anyone, and they've shown that in victories over the Springboks in the past, Ireland in the past, recent past. Um, but they got hammered by the Springboks recently. I feel like Samoa on their day could, could upset this one, but still Japan at home pretty heavy favorite so i know in my super brew i'll be picking japan uh without a doubt so um yeah i think japan if they are gonna go on and do something in the Super world cup they need to to continue that form it would be terrible for them to get a win over one of the top teams in the world and then and then drop a game like this so they need to show us that consistency that they are a big game team and then people like me will maybe buy into them just that a little bit more i'm, I'm pretty much already there but i also do really want to see samoa do well so uh, we'll see how it goes. You guys let me know your thoughts on this one. How do you think it's going to go? And um, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.